I'm trying to do this again. I tried to film this part of the video yesterday, and I could not have made any less sense if I tried, so I'm trying to do this again. Remit is a quick one because it's f***ing boiling in this car, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I can finally go out again, which is good. I mean, like, basically I could have gone out prior to this, but like we need to text a number to like the government to tell them that we're going out for a certain amount of time. Then they reply to us, then you can go out and you need like your passport number and all that stuff. So, we're doing some really important things today, like taking the bins out and uh, picking up some charcoal because we're having a lovely barbecue later. It's been a long week, so we're topping it off with a nice pork chop. And yeah, I'm gonna stop the car now because it's absolutely boiling and there's no air con in this car, so. Trying to do this again. I tried to film this part of the video yesterday and I could not have made any less sense if I tried, so I'm gonna try and do this again. I wanted to talk a little bit about the whole premise that people, you know, like producers and people like Gary Vee say that like you need to be on every social media platform in order to gain any kind of success. If you want to have like a career, you know, working online as a producer, that means that we've got to be everywhere, right? That means we've got to be on Instagram, we've got to be on Twitter, we've got to be on TikTok. And like, I wanted to explain why, while that has some logic in a sense, I'm going to explain why that can potentially not work for you and that can actually make things harder and actually make you end up burning out and, you know, put you off doing this altogether. The reason why these guys are saying it, and to be honest, it makes a lot of sense and people have had great success with it, is because... These guys are, especially Gary V. I I mean, he's got a full team of people working on every social media platform for him. So he can be posting like five, six, seven times a day on every social media platform and not really have to lift a finger. All he's got to do is make the content and have people following him around with the camera. They, do, they can take care of all the back end work. Now for us guys, it's a little bit different unless you've got the money to do that. We have to do everything ourselves and it can be really tough, especially if you're just starting out and you're getting all this advice to be everywhere and like you don't even know what content to post yet, you don't understand any of the platforms. I think this is why it can be quite detrimental, especially for producers if you're just starting out. And the main reason why this could be harmful and why this, you know, this can potentially hurt your progress as a producer is because you're, you're basically spreading yourself too thin. You've got your head thinking about what YouTube content can I make? You've got your head thinking about what can I do on Instagram? What can I tweet? What can I post on TikTok that can get attention? So your head's like in all these spaces. You've only got 24 hours in the day. You have to be posting consistently on all of these platforms in order to see any kind of growth anyway. It's just difficult, you know, you leave, you're you not leaving a lot of time to actually go ahead and make peace, which is like the main point of all of this. So, so like my main point here, and like I think the resolution to this, and I totally agree with, it was a podcast I was watching the other day with Gummy Beats, and he said it really well, and it makes a whole lot of sense, is just focus on one or two platforms and just go all in on those platforms. So for me, 
I'd say my two platforms are YouTube and Instagram. I post a whole lot of content on here, spend a lot of time editing and making the best sort of possible content that I can. Before I wasn't doing that, you'll notice like six months ago, my videos were just, I don't want to say trash, but like they had value to them. Like, you know, I give away like good information, but I'm just trying to make these fun to watch and have lots of value to them. But yeah, I was kind of spreading myself thin. I was trying to look into TikTok. I was looking into networking on SoundCloud. I was looking into networking on Twitter and all these things. And I, I just couldn't, you know, there's there too much too much information that I was having to deal with. So the best advice would be literally just to focus in on one specific platform. If you've got a full-time job, I'd just say focus on one platform because then you literally have one focus. You can fully understand. And the, and that's another, good, that's another point is that you can fully understand that platform and understand how the the algorithm works, what works for your channel. It just gives you a, a much better chance of succeeding on that one channel as opposed to just you know, uploading wishy-washy content to loads of different social platforms. Now, here's like the big disclaimer, because while that information is useful, at some point you will need to sort of branch out because you, you'll get to a point where you don't really need to market yourself a huge amount on that single platform. So like, for example, on YouTube, you're gonna sort of hit a point where you start gaining traction, you're gonna start gaining more subscribers without you having to do like any marketing. All you've gotta do then is just con continue posting videos. So at that point, you can then start focusing on Instagram or you can start focusing on Twitter or, or anything like that. So the best advice in terms of like a long-term plan, knuckle down go all in on one platform and then as you start to gain traction on that one platform you can then sort of direct all of that traffic to other social platforms as well so you can start different types of communities i know it's, it's a lot easier said than done but that's probably the most efficient way to go about doing it now what you can do, and this is like a little side gem, is if you've noticed on my videos, I've started to do like beat cookups and sort of edit them together so they're quite interesting to watch. And, you know, I'm not just sort of sat with a webcam camera on and me just making a beat for 20 minutes straight. Now, what you can do with that, so let, let's say, for example, you, you're doing stuff on YouTube. You can take that YouTube content, take the best parts of it, condense it down into like 30 seconds or a minute, you know, little snippets of of each video and post that on Instagram or post that on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. You can use the platform that you're going all in on and make micro content out of that for other platforms. So if you're focusing down on two platforms, you can actually cut out a ton of work by thinking of what what extra content you can make for that second platform and use the content that you're already making to kind of you know, disperse that across that other platform. I feel like I'm just going completely back on what I've said, but if you look at my Instagram, the last like 15 posts have been the beat making section of this you know, of the videos that I make on here saves a ton of time. And I know that my main audience on Instagram is rappers, like that's who I want to be reaching there. So why not post the beat cookups on there? It makes a lot more sense, right? So try to be clever and try to like work efficiently if you do want to sort of be posting on different platforms and building different types of audiences. Try and think about it in a way of like, you know, how can I do less work, but still achieve the same goal if that makes sense. So for me, I give away produced content on here. I also do beat cookups on here. I can then use those beat cookups and just post them on Instagram because I've got more eyes on my beats than on Instagram where the rappers are. I'm basically killing two birds in one stone. I know there's like a, a lot of different advice and like contrasting advice, but like it's more about the, the time frame in which you do these things. So in the beginning, just focus on one or two platforms. And then as you start to grow, sort of branch out. And if you want to, and if you have the time, whilst you're just focusing in on one platform, you can use that content to sort of disperse on Instagram if you wanted to, or disperse on Twitter, but that's totally up to you. But the best thing to do is just go all in. Now that makes a bit more sense, I hope, but you can let me know in the comments.